Imagine this, a rocket where fuel and anti-fuel touch and vanish into pure energy. That's an antimatter engine. When matter meets antimatter, they annihilate and release energy with E, Benzash, MemC2 efficiency far beyond chemical rockets and even most nuclear designs. What could that do? Starship thrust. Tiny amounts could push probes to a fraction of light speed. Deep space missions, weeks instead of years to the outer planets. Microscopic fuel loads, grams, not tons, if you can store it. The problems are brutal. Antimatter can't touch any walls, so it must float in magnetic traps at ultra-vacuum. It's also painfully scarce today. We make nanograms in particle labs at astronomical cost. Then there's radiation. Beamed core designs spit high-energy particles that demand serious shielding. Still, hybrids like antimatter-catalyzed fusion could be a bridge using tiny bursts of antimatter to ignite fusion fuel for a practical star drive. I love turning ideas like this into visuals you can feel. I use big motion so I can focus on the story while it handles the edit link below if you're curious. So, if antimatter engines became real, where would you go first, Saturn's rings or another star? Like, comment, and subscribe for more futuristic fun facts.